वेलकम टू टूडेज एडवेंचर विथ लिटरेसी एडवेंचर्स विथ अली इन टूडेज एडवेंचर वी विल लर्न अबाउट प्रोनाउंसिएशन अ लॉट ऑफ मिस प्रोनाउंसड वर्ड्स इन इंग्लिश दैट आई हेयर ऑन एन एवरेज डे स्पोकन बाई पीपल इन पाकिस्तान and i'm going to address all of those mispronunciations in addition to that we will also talk about the difference between pronunciation accent and dialect and we are also going to look at what enunciation eloquence and articulation is all right so let's begin today's journey and i hope you'll join me in future literacy adventures as well happy learning If you want to know more about me you can check out my bio in the about section of my channel or if you work in an institution and want me to conduct training sessions for your students or your staff then you may contact me at the email address shown on the screen you can also contact me if you want me to make a video on a particular topic for you so are you ready for today's adventure In today's adventure we will learn more about how to pronounce some common english words which are usually mispronounced in pakistan since pronunciation is a very vast topic i have divided this topic into two parts in today's part 1 we will only talk about commonly mispronounced words and in the next part we will discuss words that have the same spellings but different pronunciation before we begin to talk about pronunciation we must first understand the difference between pronunciation and accent because there seems to be a lot of confusion between these two concepts the first is pronunciation pronunciation is the way in which a word is pronounced for example table you cannot call a table table just because you feel like it that is a mispronunciation that is an incorrect pronunciation of an english word so we cannot take liberties in pronouncing or mispronouncing words as per our desire we have to pronounce english words in a certain way however there are few words that have alternate pronunciations a british pronunciation and an american pronunciation and i have already taken you on an adventure about british and american english in which i have clarified a lot of confusion about those particular words which have different pronunciations in the us and in the uk however in today's adventure i am going to discuss the pronunciation of words that have the same pronunciation across the world in the english language and there is no dispute about their pronunciation however some people in pakistan have developed a variation of their own pronunciations of their own whim accent on the other hand is the way in which people in a particular country or region speak or pronounce words for example I have shown you pictures of four different people from four different countries in the world. The extreme left is a French person who will obviously speak English in a French accent. Then there is an Arab man who will obviously speak English in an Arab accent. Then there is an Indian woman who will naturally speak English in an Indian accent. and we can only expect a chinese person to speak english in a chinese accent so that is natural because that's the country they are from they each belong to a different region and it's only natural for them to speak english in their own accent this brings us to the point that we as pakistanis must have a natural pakistani accent when we are speaking english especially if you have never set foot in the united states or in the uk and you try to fake an accent then you are not fooling anybody but yourself if you continue to do so then you will only appear to be unintelligent and other people will only make fun of you now let's talk about enunciation eloquence and articulation the meaning of all of these three words is clarity to speak 
clearly. We must strive and try hard to make sure that not only do we pronounce words correctly, but when we are speaking to someone in general, we should speak with enunciation, eloquence, and articulation, which means we must learn to speak in a very clear manner. Now let's talk about dialect. Dialect is a form of a language that people speak in a particular part of a country containing some different words or grammar, etc. Remember, there are more than 37 dialects of English spoken within the United Kingdom alone. Some of them are mentioned on the screen below, like the Scottish dialect, the Cockney dialect, the Yorkshire dialect, the Kent dialect, the Welsh dialect, the Bristol dialect, the Devon dialect, the Sussex, Sussex dialect, and the Lancashire dialect. The best example of dialect that I can give you in a Pakistani context is Imagine a Pathan person speaking Urdu. He has a Pakistani accent, but he has a Pashto dialect. Received pronunciation is the standard form of British English pronunciation. It is also known as the Queen's English. If you have ever seen any of the Queen's speeches, you will notice that she speaks in a very neutral accent and neutral pronunciation because she wants her message to reach the masses. The Queen's English or the received pronunciation is also the same pronunciation that BBC uses in its programs, which is why I always advise people to watch a lot of BBC because it's a free of cost training in proper pronunciation. I have collected a lot of words in this adventure which are commonly mispronounced in Pakistan. So we are going to learn the correct pronunciation of these commonly mispronounced words and just to save time, I'm not going to focus on how they are mispronounced. I'm only going to focus on the correct pronunciation of all of these words. Lion. Happy birthday. Plumber. Biscuit. Career. Bowl. General. Sharpener. Breakfast. Precious. Gorgeous, modern, chewing gum, pizza, mayonnaise, rapport. Remember, the letter T is silent in this word. The letter R is not. Rapport. This word is pronounced as strength. So the letter G is not silent. It is very much pronounced. Imagine removing TH from the end and then pronouncing it as streng and then add TH at the end. So the correct pronunciation will be strength. Wednesday. The D in this word is silent. Jalapeno. Not jalapeno. Jalapeno. Fajita. Determine. Cough. Pomegranate. Digestion. Vegetable. Comfortable. Suggestion. Photographer. Accessories, tortoise, hierarchy, embroidered, hair salon, not hair saloon, extravagant, berry, 
Peri means dafnana in English, and we do not pronounce this word as bari, we pronounce it as berry. And for your convenience, I have actually put up some pictures of berries on the screen for you to remember to always pronounce this as berry. Thank you so much for joining me on today's adventure. Till next time, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.